Notice the eddies along the toe of the bank. Water slowing down, circling there. And if you follow uh, small pieces of debris, you can see that it moves faster out in the center of the channel. So what's effectively been done is we've moved the thaw wig out to the center. So that's where most of the velocities are now, They're not beating on the bank. In the background, you can see the discharge from the, the large culvert for the detention basin, the regional detention basin to the north. Um, and you can see those, uh, the turbulence from the discharge, it doesn't reach the Lynn Plaza bank. It goes to the center and then immediately gets taken downstream. So there's no erosion. The toe seems very stable. It's filled with sediment from uh, when the water levels rise. You can see vegetation starting to grow in it, although it's probably undesirable. We'll monitor that to make sure it doesn't get too weedy and start to cause problems. Here's a close-up of how sediment has started to fill in the crevices at the toe of the bank. This is good. It's caused from when the water levels rise. Uh, it helps solidify that toe. Uh, and and you, again, you can see vegetation growing through it. We'll monitor that, make sure it doesn't become uh, cause problems. Due to the turbulence, you can't really see beneath the water surface, but I took some photos before the rainfall events where I could see through the water and see that the uh, rock veins were very, very stable. Cobble behind them was completely in place and they were, everything was functioning as designed. Okay, I'm going to take video of the parking lot just to show how it's fared over the winter time and the spring time. I'm going to look at some curb cuts to see how they're doing. They were, they were put in so that there were multiple points at which storm water would overflow. Uh, it used to connect, or used to splash to grade from the roof. So a lot of water was heading toward the storm sewers. And uh, as a part of the repair, um, the downspouts were connected directly to the storm sewer. There's no chance for, for infiltration at this point. So connecting to the storm sewer was the most desirable option um, to stop erosion and it doesn't hurt the environment. In fact, it helps the environment because it stops the overbank erosion. So here's a curb cut. Uh, basically the, the rocks pushing water back into the curb line and down to the next storm sewer structure. That's okay. We'll leave it like this for now, unless it starts causing a problem. Here's the next curb cut. No signs of erosion. This curb cut as well. A little bit of erosion starting. We'll keep an eye on it. Maybe recommend that um, uh, some gravel from one of the other spots be backfilled here. We'll take a look at it in the fall, see if it's if it's really erosion or if that's the way it was left after construction. See some vegetating vegetation starting to take root. We'll recommend that that gets herbicided unless it's native. Native has a deeper root system than weeds. Here is the next curb cut, no erosion. And of course the the curb inlet that was um, stabilized. Appears to be no shifting in the curb. All that was from previous erosion, but no separation between the asphalt joint and the curb. Next curb cut. Appears to be no erosion, we'll monitor again. This curb cut has no erosion, no signs of erosion.